As we head out for today's adventure, we are going to be passing by this cranberry bog, which was just flooded, and that means soon it will be like this, full of cranberries, and then the machinery will come out and collect it all up. I hope to get some proper footage of it. It's uh, quite a tradition around these parts. Okay, off to our favorite antique shop. And we're back again to Sandwich Antique Center because I'd like to show a few more things I didn't show last time, and I'm trying to get a little better with filming. It was a lovely New England day. And you can see right away a ladder back chair and a butter churn it lets us know we're in New England. And then this pair of darling light fixtures was 350. And this Chippendale style, not authentic Chippendale, but 20th century Chippendale mirror is 195, which lets us know we are in an antique shop and not a thrift shop. All right, let's go in. I thought I would start with one of my favorite pieces in the shop, which is this silver plate ink standish or a desk standish, uh, which is uh, basically, I believe it was an early Regency invention, but it, this is a late Victorian piece. And an ink standish or a de desk standish is like an ornate stand such as this, which is made from bone and silver. And it has a place for your pots of ink, sealing wax, maybe a pounce box, and quills and things ready to be cut. Of course, um, when this was made, you probably would be using nibs and pens. And it is silver plate, not sterling. But other than that, I love it. I so hopefully you can read the sign if I slow the film down enough. Also, the dolphin is um, highly prized in this area. And uh, because of sandwich glass, which is another outing I'd like to take you on, you can see some lovely sandwich glass here. Um, the dolphin pair of dolphin candlesticks, in particularly the color clam broth, which is that milky white, was... Uh, de rigueur for Brahmins in Boston and they would have proudly sat on a sideboard next to the sterling silver and the good china. Another piece I really love in here is this small oil. It is around 900 because it is an, an artist that is known but it's probably early 20th late 19th century and I just love small oils particularly figure oils and I love the solid bronze piece with the lion's head and the, uh, the little putti on top. I think it's wonderful. I think that's about 475. And then the landscape painting in the back is just dreamy. I love smaller sized oils. I've thought about this piece. It's just plaster painted to look like bronze and it does have a few chips in it. Uh, it's a nice size and that's why it's only 120. But again, a little out of my price range currently, but I loved this carved old man. I think anything with faces just is always intriguing to me. And the butterflies, this beautiful uh, glass chandelier or candelabra was lovely. Now this was very interesting. This was a 19th century painted bit of um, fungal growth that you see on the sides of trees. And I often have seen these and collected them on my walks in the wood. I would love to paint one myself. So that is a good idea for myself in the future. I love the little, they are um, tiny sort of decoys or fishing lures. I'm not sure what they're used for, but because they're animal form, I just love them. They're a type of thing I would really happily hang on my wall. The blue and white plate was quite nice as well. And these sweet little naive uh, seashell boxes, which probably aren't old, which is why they weren't very dear. This was only $27, but it's just kind of a sweet, very Cape Cod thing. I thought this was a lovely set of cobalt glass and silver salt cellars. However, they were uh, silver plate, not sterling. It usually pays to invest in sterling overall, just because if you ever need to sell anything, you can always get more for sterling. These weren't very dear either. They were only 75 for the pair of those uh, porcelain dogs. I just thought they were sweet. And just some random little... Um... Oh, this I were also... I love miniature portraits. So these three portraits were uh, very, very interesting to me. And they were 395 I believe it says. I'm trying really hard now when I go to keep... The camera on the prices of things because I know people do want to see what prices are so I'm trying to each video I think is a learning process I love this painting as well and it was marked down but now these I loved out of my budget but these art deco a pair of sconces and they even had the old bulbs on top so beautiful but well out of my budget at 750 I just had to show them to you because they're really beautiful I just thought this was kind of just a pretty little corner of the copper jugs the decoy the lamps the wooden boxes the old milk jugs those type of things I just thought it was a pretty display and then as we turn this way there's a really sweet um this is a, like a hooked rug of an 
of an American flag, but what I thought was sweet was this needlepoint of the Spaniel. And I believe, I'm not sure if my camera focused on the price, I think it was about, I want to say around 300, 350 or something like that. Now I looked at two of these dressers. They're almost sort of like a Welsh dresser, but they're a very like colonial American step back uh, pine dresser that I think would be perfect in a kitchen. Now I would love to have one in the boathouse kitchen, but if I ever get to do um, Bunny Hall's kitchen over, which that's far in the future, I really do want to make it look very early American. Um, and so this is a very beautiful example of that pine step back narrow shelved cabinet that looks lovely in a kitchen. And I think I did remember to get the price. We are 950. Now, obviously, well out of my budget but still just to show you that and then i found this one as well um a little further into the shop the same thing it's a step back it is pine the top has uh which is nice this actually closes shut so um you know it offers extra storage however it was open underneath so it's really more like a desk or maybe a piece for a dining room and uh, i just thought it was pretty i also think the things around it the horse and the um the bird in the back is quite nice, but I th let me open the doors here. Oh yes, and the price. Can't forget the price. Now this one was six twenty-five. I have slowed down the footage a bit just to make it easier, but you can see it's a quite a narrow shelf, so it really could work for a kitchen. Just a lovely piece overall, I thought. And if you're going to be window shopping, you might as well look at lovely things. This is actually more modern. This is from the 1970s, but this is just a beautiful sculpture. It's, of course, $8,000, but I just wanted to share it with you. You can see it's, and it's Italian. And it just was beautiful. I mean, I love anything with animals, but just it was a it was beautiful in form and style and in presence. So I had to share it because again, if we're going to look, look at nice things. And I loved this Venetian mirror. I think it was late 18th century. I would love this in Old Kings, but again, look at the great old glass, but it is 950. <laughs> well out of my budget. Oh, and these are just some sweet primitive things, but I mostly took this sh footage here to show you this fun flow blue uh, three-handled cup or tankard. It's Royal Dalton, but I just thought it was pretty because it was blue and white, and I love anything with figures, and I thought it was really unique with the multiple handles, and that was $1.95 for those who are trying to keep track of prices. And I loved this. This was a bit of birch with a colonial man painted on, and I really, really loved it. See how they left his coat with the with the uh, birch bark showing through? And at 125, I actually thought that wasn't a bad price. Oh, and then this, this is a pair of these little English spaniels or pug dogs, but um, they are 18 a piece, and they're so sweet because they have outlets, three outlets on each of them and then you can plug them in so you can discreetly have a, a sweet little porcelain animal that you can plug lamps or other things into and this i showed you last time it's just a sweet little punchinello creamer i thought was really adorable again i like jugs with faces on for some reason well back home and uh, I hope you enjoyed another outing to the Sandwich Antique Shop, and I hope I did a better job of holding it steady this time. <laughs> All right, let's head back home and see if I got any treasures today. Well, thank you for joining me today for going back to the Sandwich Antique Center again. This may be a part one because I do have a little bit more footage and I just have a new gimbal. It's just an inexpensive manual gimbal, but I think it did help hold the uh, camera a little bit better so it may not be as shaky this time but I do have a little bit more footage however yesterday was my birthday so I took the day off from editing and uh, doing anything else but just relaxing so sorry this video is a bit late today as you can see I did leave with a couple of treasures from the outing to the antique shop 
I got this sweet little Punchinello creamer, which I love. And if I ever do get the Mayolica um, jug with a man's face, I think that would be amazing together. And the other little fun treat I got, which you saw in the video, was there was actually a pair of them, but I just bought one as it was less expensive to just buy one. But the sweet little porcelain pug dog or English toy spaniel, which has three outlets. I'm guessing it's probably from the 30s maybe or 40s. And then it has the outlet so you can plug that in and it has the nice cloth. So you can plug that in so that can be discreetly hidden and then you can have this beautiful little porcelain dog sitting somewhere and then still be able to hook lamps to that and have it not be as, uh, as noticeable. I just thought it was such a unique piece and so sweet that I couldn't say no. Plus I love anything that has to do with animals. And I also think this color with the Punchinello looks kind of nice with the fun uh, American Limoges that we have for the boathouse in the future. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'll see you later today on Chats at Lalande, and I will see you Thursday on my next vlog and Chats at Lalande that day as well. And um, I hope to see you on Sunday. I'll probably will try another premiere. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And then, um, but I'll let you know in a uh, post. Oh, now that I have the community post, I'm really excited about that. I guess just because now that I have uh, more than 2,000 followers, I'm allowed to have the community button now. So as a few of you have seen, I can make a little post to kind of let people know this is happening or that's happening. So that's kind of exciting. Each little step in my YouTube journey makes it a little bit more fun. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. And I will see you later today on the chats. And I will see you on my next vlog. Remember, stay creative. Cheers. Thank you.